Hey, what's up guys? It's me, The Sole Purpose, and I'm coming at you with another video. Today, I'm gonna give you, uh, I guess a little story upon the Aurora R5 and um, its performance and how I received it and how it even came about being in my house. Uh, well, I will tell you pretty much right now the whole story and it, it has a good ending, but it's, 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 it's a lot of up and downs. So I'm gonna tell you how this all started right now. You can pause the video, get yourself a drink or some popcorn or something because it might be about seven to 10 minutes. All right, now that we're back, you got your stuff. So this is how this occurred. Um, I had an Alienware X51. If you looked at my previous videos, um, it was always right here. It was actually the base right there and then my monitor came. So it was supporting my monitor. And um, it was the top of the line one with the i7 and you know, all that good stuff. And um, there was an issue um, with the front bezel of it. There was an eject button that's it's a silver eject button and um, it did not want to eject the CDs. So I called um, Alienware and you know, I have full warranty with Accidental and stuff like that. And you know, just to stop the story and say that if you're gonna get something like this, I suggest that you definitely, like don't buy the system if you're not getting the insurance. And if you're gonna try to get two, try to save up an extra hundred dollars and get three. You know, just, if, I mean, listen, if you're spending this much money, I suggest you do it because anything can happen. and. Even even while they're building it, something can go wrong where like, you know, one of the pieces could be, you know, just not working correctly. You don't know, you know, so if you're going to spend that much money, just get the insurance. So I had insurance and everything of that nature and um, there was nothing wrong with the optical drive, also known as the CD-ROM. It was working well and um, the only problem was that eject button. So I called them and I pretty much said, hey, can we fix this? Uh, they brought somebody over my home and that person for some reason exchanged the op optical drive rather than the uh, eject button. Well, she didn't even have the eject button so they didn't even put an order for that. They just did the optical drive. She put in the optical drive. Uh, her and I were talking. She was really cool. So when we connected everything, I didn't take the time out to check the optical drive to see if it was working because remember, I didn't have a problem with it. It was the eject button. I just didn't want to keep manually ejecting the CD. So, um, she put in the optical drive and hours later, uh, I went to go put in a CD. I guess it was a music CD or yeah, I believe it was a music CD and it didn't want to accept the CD. The optical drive that she put in, I thought maybe she put in the wrong way. Um, you know, I guess facing the opposite way. Well, they called, I mean, I called them and they said that, you know, they're going to bring somebody to exchange the eject button that what they were originally supposed to do and they will look at that optical drive. So the gentleman came to my house, um, he looked at the optical drive and it was broken and whatever, like, hey, like I said, things happen and this is why I say get insurance because you don't know. And I'm a fool for not checking it when she was here, but I didn't find the need to. Like I said, there was nothing wrong with the optical drive. so. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't jump on it. <laughs> and anyhow, the gentleman came into my house, he was trying to, um, he, he exchanged the optical drive and then he was gonna exchange the bezel um, to the eject button, you know, it's like a little bezel and it's like a silver button. Like I said, if you look at my previous videos, you will see it, it laid right there where the um, monitor is. And so at that point, he um, exchanged the optical drive, said that it was broken, the one that she put in, and um, he tried to fix the eject button, and he broke his screwdriver because he couldn't open up the, the facing or whatever it was, um, the bezel, the front, the plate, I'm not even sure the name of it, but uh, yeah, he couldn't open it, and it broke his screwdriver, and... Um, at that point, 
we came to find out that I didn't have any other choice but to pretty much send my computer back. And um, I did that. It took my computer. Um, I got it back. I think it was like a week later or something like that. And when I got it, so like see this plate, that's exactly what it had on that X51. It was completely off. There was like a bent on the side. So I was like, you know, heck no. Like if you look at my previous videos, it still had the plastic on it. You know, I'm very OCD. Like I like being neat to another level. Um, as you notice, I, you know, <laughs> that's how I am. I'm just, I, I'm not saying you can't like get dust or anything like that. You can't stop that. But I try to be as clean as possible. And it just, it got to the point where like, I just, I didn't want it no more because like that's not how I sent it and that's not what I expected to get back like the plate was gone it was it, it wasn't gone it, it came off it was broken there was like a light that lights up and that was ripped off and there was like a rattling sound I, put it like this I just called them instantly I made a little video I sent them pictures and they couldn't you know they couldn't really believe what happened and they felt disappointed as well as I did. So they pretty much built this computer and sent me, you know, this computer, the um, Alienware Aurora R5. And I returned my computer. Now, I'm gonna just rewind and say this. The X51, I had no problems with. It was a good computer. I mean, don't get me wrong, mine was notched up to this like the best way that it possibly could be at that time in that point so um it was great it did what it needed to do and i play a lot of video games but i don't really play a lot of lot of computer games like i play league of legends maple story um stupid stuff like minecraft time to time not that minecraft or maple story or like league of legends is stupid i mean these are games that i enjoy and like i like them not much on the minecraft tip but the maple story and the league of legends and um world of warcraft i played here and there because of my friend but i'm not really into that and diablo yeah i played that as well so as if you notice like like i said Maple Story, League of Legends, Diablo time to time. Those are the main three. These don't really take up too much performance, especially not Maple Story or League of Legends. And um uh I, like I said, I just want the right computer for the for for more than what I need just in case I get to the point of having to need it. And like if one of my friends while playing these games helped me um well introduce me into another game. You know, I don't want to sit there and be like, "Oh, I can't play it." You know, well, like I said, no issues. You know, time to time, like, it lagged here and there. But that's every computer after a while. You'd probably have to, like, clean it all up and, you know, whatever. No issues. Now, I got this computer. And, um, you know, I'm happy with it. I'm not going to say that I'm unsatisfied. I'm not going to say that I'm fully satisfied. I'm going to say that mainly the reason why I'm even making this video right now before I even say what I'm gonna say is just because I've noticed a lot of activity upon this computer on other people's channels and on my page that I posted this um, video on it and so I just wanted to elaborate as far as what happened in me so everything is like kicked up as you guys know like it has a 980 a i7 and you know it's 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 pretty good the first time I got it it had an it um, it had this hard drive in it where it was a damaged well that's what we found out that it was damaged it was reading too slow and it was just it was a headache it made the computer go through a lot of stress and worked a lot and it the, the fan would be consistently on and like I said it was not writing right so they um, they brought somebody to my house, they exchanged everything, they swapped it, and now it's running pretty well. Like, um, I've twitched, and uh, I play the two games that I mainly play, Maple Story and League, and um, it's good. Like, I can't lie. Like, it's a pretty good PC. Um, it's, it's not, you know, great as far as the best of the best but it's good for me the only thing that i suggest if you guys get it is get the cooling because i think 
later on, you're going to definitely need that. Because the power source to this, I, I think, is too little. I think it's way too little. It's like a 450, I think. I'm assuming it should be at least a 550. At least. Like, because it has a lot of stuff in there. And it's, it's pushing a lot of power. So maybe that's one of the things that definitely needs to be kicked up a notch on their on their end and if you have the ability to get that cooling and you're gonna stay with this fan get the cooling because the cooling will definitely just keep everything on point and keep it nice and cool because the heat will eventually you know be a problem because they have like these little rinky dinky fans here and there and they're okay don't get me wrong they work and they push a little air but I don't know man I think they could have done a little bit better and Again, this is not a rant video. This is just my thoughts, likes, and dislikes upon what, you know, I think should have been kind of kicked up a notch. The fans could have been just a little bit better to push a little bit more speed and a little bit more breeze because I have looked in it. Obviously, the gentleman came and opened it up and had to change the hard drive and stuff. So kind of looked at it all. And um, like I said, if you guys want to get this computer, most people buy these computers, like myself, you know, I'm not rich, I don't have all the money in the world, so I financed it, you know, I paid for it little by little, and I got it, and you know, it's, you get like a Dell Preferred account or whatever it is, and you know, that's, that's the way I got it, because I didn't have the $1,500 to drop, you know, like, I didn't want to drop it all at once, so, you know, forget that, so... If you're going to spend that money, like I said, just chill out, <laughs> spend an extra like two, three hundred dollars and just get it the best way that you can get it. So you know that you don't have to sit here and do this up and down stuff because it could be a headache because some of these people on that side of the line, they really don't know what they're doing. And I'm not going to like, you know, say any names or say anything as far as my experience, but yeah, don't don't rely on everybody on that phone call because they just they really don't know what they're doing like this is just me just giving you an example when i was talking to them about that that bezel piece the eject button i i turned my camera on that's up there to show them what was going on because they kept talking about this optical drive and even when the lady came and I showed it to them with the camera, she still did not come with the eject button. So I can't really tell you that they're all bright over there, you know, like, just, just letting you know, just cover yourself, get the insurance, and just make sure that you're insured. So if anything happens, they have to fix it. Other than that, um, I still wish I had my X51. It was an awesome computer. Um, unfortunately, I got this one, and I'm not disappointed. It's cool, whatever. It's, it's pretty much just like my old computer, except, you know, it has a few kick-ups. The graphics card, and um, I think there was something else. There was a few other things that were, like, you know, kicked up for a little, like, inconvenient problem that I was going through with them. And, you know, I, I'm grateful for that. So, like I said get the insurance it's a cool computer it performs pretty well and yeah <laughs> I, I i don't know i kind of just like i say i kind of just suggest you get that insurance just to insure yourself so that's my video i don't want to keep saying that i said it like four times already i hope you guys enjoy it if you have any questions likes dislikes strength and weaknesses let me know what you think what you feel if you went through any of this thanks again have a great day i'm out like comment subscribe peace guys